So it's been a couple weeks since I did a garden update and someone really requested one. So I thought I'd give a little update today. Got my herb box is very big. All my oregano and variegated sage, um, chives. <laughs> all these nasturtiums are growing out of this little pot that I kind of just set in there but there's some basil some chamomile over there and I did have <laughs> tiny little rosemary <laughs> and my bleeding hearts are still alive and still making cute little leaves and more nasturtiums And I've got my white marigolds are so close to blooming. My cosmos are starting to bloom. This is my new favorite lettuce. Got my lemon balm and yarrow blocks, nasturtiums, more marigolds, more zinnias. My celery is looking gigantic. My basil is looking worn. My calendula is so fragrant. I finally have something growing on these squashes. These little these things. They're pretty big already. Got a couple of them in there. Um, I guess I'll start over here. And what I refer to as bale line B. But I have to sort of fight my way through all this comfrey and rhubarb. So I was very worried that I wasn't making any corn. But... Not sure if you got y'all can see it, but I've got ears. Say cheers. And I've got sunflowers back there. They're so gorgeous. I'm not sure what is going on with these brassicas over here. Um I thought they were cabbages, but I don't know. My borage is still going. I had a cucumber over here somewhere, but it got lost. Um, it's a big old mess. I've got uh, tomatoes over there that still need to be trimmed. But they're all tied up. My broccoli, I have just picked a giant head of broccoli. Which was awesome. See, I thought these were cabbages, but I really just don't know. Hmm. But, I mean, whatever it is, it looks like it's growing all right right hmm. there's my comfrey and rhubarb look at these rhubarbs um cute little broccolis and porridge it's my dog singing i'm not sure if the camera can hear that but he's giving her these are strawberry blonde calendula. They look pretty red now, but when they bloom, they are beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. My favorite flower this year, I think. So there's more tomatoes that are all strung up and trimmed. A nice gorgeous head of broccoli. Look at that broccoli. Yeah. And my kidney beans are huge. There's five beans in that. Five. Um, side shoots because I'm pretty sure I picked this crown already. Still no color on my tomatoes. It'll happen. I know it. I do know that there are tons of potatoes in these bales. I was... <laughs> I was going to plant a potato or tomato clone and I was going to choose this one spot 
No, I just can't remember where it was, but anyways, it's over here, I think. I think. Let's see. Aha, yep. There it is. There's my little potato. So, I definitely have potatoes growing in the bales. Ugh. And my tomatoes are still still growing, which is good. Oh, sorry. So, get this squash leaf. I'm not sure if you can see. There's a big old spider in there. So I've got more cosmos over there. Um, I've actually got squash growing on the other side of the fence. Um, I, I'm not really sure where it came from. I think it goes all the way across and back there. And I strung them up and you can kind of see the squash poking up right there. Um, okay. So... Uh, so I got the kidney beans, the broccoli. There's more kidney beans behind the broccoli. And then there's this squash plant, which I think is the same as that squash plant, which is the green hubbard I just showed you. And I just don't think it's growing any squashes, though. I don't think any of those flowers are getting fertilized. I'm contemplating pulling it out. Because I think behind that, there is a cucumber. Uh, more mystery brassica. I wish I knew what that was. But behind that is more tomatoes. Anyways. Um, so, here's the... I can't really see it. It's so big. It's anyways back there. I've got tomatoes, and I think I saw some beans actually did end up sprouting. But <laughs> I've got uh, oh, look at these beautiful Hungarian hot black peppers, um, cucumber, um, I'm not sure. If it's this cucumber over, I think it is this cucumber over here. But I've also got a cucumelon plant back there that is just going crazy. Okay, I'm gonna get to the next arm. My carrots in here are growing well with this clover, apparently. And pulled one of them up the other day and it was nice and big. Look at this beautiful orange calendula. Gorgeous. you gorgeous. My watermelon is still here and alive. Ish. Um, these tomatoes are very big and very heavy. Uh, I definitely need a better support system for next year. Like, definitely. Here. Uh, this is the bale that had all of the melons in it and also the love lies bleeding is back there it's fallen can't get up um, <laughs> look at this muty tomato look at it it's freaking weird and look at this look at this sucker growing right out of the stem that's weird right Anyways, under the muty tomato is a normal tomato that is just big. I got a pumpkin back there that's starting to turn orange. Makes me a little bit sad. So I'm just trying to cut through without stepping on everything. I've got my ground cherries are growing under here. Um, it's the first year I'm growing these. I mean, it's the first year for a lot of things, but pretty excited about the ground cherries. I have no idea what this is. I think it's supposed, I think this is supposed to, oh, this is cabbage. This is cabbage? I think this might be cabbage. I think that's a head of cabbage under there. Or 
<gasps> That's a head of cauliflower. Cool. So I got cauliflower. I got this ginormous beast of a green Hubbard squash. <sighs> and my squash corner has outgrown everything. Um, I thought that was an eggplant, but it's just more ground cherry. Another tomato here. As you can see, this tomato is growing squash flowers. It's not really. The squash is growing up the tomato plant. Um, uh, over here is mostly the same as the last video. The celery's still growing well. The celery is actually still growing amazingly well. Look at this celery. I didn't think it was going to grow so well. That celery is gorgeous. Not right now, sweetie. Um, my beets and Swiss chard and all that over there is still just doing whatever it's doing. I did do some second sowing, or second sowing. I've got some Japanese giant mustard growing there. I've got spinach right there. I've got some Swiss chard over there. I've got some peas over there. And I have some of the beautiful lettuce right there. I'm letting those broccoli go to seed. Because I feel like it's late enough in the season that it's all right to take those seeds. But I've still got broccoli growing pretty much everywhere. Broccoli and celery. <laughs> you, you can watch it when I upload it. So this is the sweet little guy that just demanded I make a new video because he watched all my other videos. So yeah, Benjamin, this one's for you, bro. I've got zucchinis coming still. I've got a cute little mutated zucchini in there. I'm not sure. I can't even see my screen right now. It's in there. Um, I'm probably going to have a two large zucchini harvest again. Maybe. Um, oh. Oh, look at this beautiful thing. This is one of the strawberry blonde calendulas. I love it. Oh, they're so fragrant. It seems to me that they are much more fragrant than the other calendula. Yeah. My U box over there is just too wild. Um, I haven't gone over there since I picked that broccoli over there. So I have no idea what's going on. There's just dead slugs in there, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go in the greenhouse and make another video. Hey, Mom.